Hi everyone, it's me, Spring the Fiber Enthusiast, and welcome to the channel. Today is going to be a Tunisian suggestion tutorial. Um, during the brocade stitch tutorial, there was a question asked in the comment section from a viewer about doing it with the knit stitch. So what I did was went ahead and worked up a swatch to show you it in a knitted version, you know, Tunisian knit stitch version versus the standard um, pattern as it is written. Um, I will also link up in the right hand corner a card to the tutorial on this uh, so that way you can go and watch how to do it the traditional written way in the Tunisian simple stitch, Tunisian double stitch, that type of thing. So with that being said, I do want to show you if you choose to do this in the Tunisian knit stitch form, what it looks like here and show you how to work it up that way. Um, it does work up, but you can see the pattern difference between the two um, swatches here. It is still forming your, you know, these waves of color. However, it's not as clear and crisp as in this original way. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna begin the tutorial on how to do this um, in the Tunisian knit stitch fashion. And here's the back of it, just in case you know you were wondering. That is the back of that one, and this is the back of the other. I think the back looks really cool. <laughs> But, all right, so go ahead and grab you a couple scrap balls of yarn and let's get started for today's tutorial. I'm just gonna be using, yet again, some scrap yarn that I have laying around. I think this is a Red Heart Cafe Latte, I think, and then just some white. So I'm going to start with the white and make the cafe the part that goes in between. And you're gonna start with a slip knot on your hook. Again, these are just worsted weight scrap balls of yarn. And this is a six millimeter Tunisian hook. You're going to need to chain in multiples of 10 plus two. So for whatever the width you would like. I do suggest doing at least two repeats uh, to kind of get a rhythm going, even if you're just working up a swatch. So I will be chaining 22. Once I've chained 22, I will be back and we will continue on. Okay, so once you have 22 chains, you're going to go back through and we're going to create our foundation of uh, this pattern, which is we're just going to simply do a forward pass and a back pass. So you're going to go through and pick up a stitch in every chain. So we're going to load our hook now. Um, generally speaking, I would go into the spine or the back bumps of the chain, but because this is just a swatch, we're going to just go into the front of the chain You'll know that you've done it right if you have the same number of loaded stitches, loaded loops on your hook as you did chains. So we should have a total of 22. Okay, once you have verified that you have the same number of loops, stitches on your hook as you did chains, we are going to do a standard Tunisian back pass. So we're going to chain one and then yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. And you're going to continue to do that until there are two loops remaining on your hook. Once there are two loops remaining on your hook, I will meet back up with you. 
Okay, so I'm down to the last two loops left on my hook. I'm going to add in my accent color, color B. I'm going to place a loop on my hook and pull it through, leaving yourself enough room to sew in your ends. Now that is up to you. If you're just doing a swatch, you know, you can just run a slip knot on it if you would like. Now, we are going to begin our repeating pattern. You're going to chain one, and now we're going to yarn over and double Tunisia knit stitch into your next stitch. So you're going between those legs, and instead of lifting it up and going this way, we're going to go all the way through to the back, yarn over, and pull a loop all the way through. Now you're gonna yarn over and go through two loops. Okay, now we're going to Tunisia knit stitch the next two stitches. So Tunisia knit stitch, Tunisian knit stitch, and then we're going to slip the next two stitches. So all we're doing is sliding our hook under those stitches and we're going to Tunisian knit stitch the next two. So in and knit stitch. In and knit stitch. Now we're going to Tunisian double, Tunisian knit double, the next two. So yarn over and insert your hook just as if you were going to do the Tunisian knit stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and go through two. We're going to do that three more times, one into each of the next three stitches. So yarn over, insert your hook all the way through, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and go through two loops. Again, and one more time. you will have four Tunisian knitted doubles. Now we're gonna Tunisian simple stitch, Tunisian knit stitch <laughs> the next two stitches. So in and yarn over, pull up a loop, and the next one in, yarn over, pull up a loop. And now we're going to slip the next two stitches. And Tunisian knit the next two. And now we're going to Tunisian double, Tunisian knit double the next four stitches. That includes the very last one. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through two. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and go through two. Yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over, go through two. We're going to do this very last stitch the same as you would generally, except we're doing it as a double. So we're yarning over first, inserting the hook into those stitches, Picking up both legs of that last stitch, yarning over and pulling up a loop, yarning over and going through two. Now we're going to do the back pass. So we're going to chain one and yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. And you're going to continue to do that until there are two loops remaining on your hook at which time I will come back and we will start again with color A. When you come down to the end here, down to your last stitch, it's no different than if we were to pick up from the bottom, we're going to be picking up the two legs from the top of the stitch here. So we're having that double continue and yarning over and pulling up a loop. 
Now you're gonna do a standard Tunisian back pass. You're gonna yarn over and chain one. Yarn over, go through two. Yarn over, go through two. And continue on until there are two loops remaining. When you get to that point, I will meet back up with you. Okay, let's begin row four. Row four begins by bringing up your color B and yarning over, pulling up a loop. And now we're going to chain one, Tunisian knit stitch the next stitch. And now we're going to Tunisian knit stitch the next stitch. And we're gonna place one Tunisian knitted double into each of the next four. So yarn over, Tunisian knit double, yarning over going through two. So that's one. Two, three, and four. Tunisian knit the next two, one and two, and then we're going to slip the next two. So you're just sliding those next two onto your hook. Tunisian knit stitch the next two and continue on. Tunisian knit double the next four. There's one. Two. Three. And four. Tunisian knit stitch the next two. Slip the next two and Tunisian knit that very last stitch. So making sure that you're picking up both legs of that stitch, pulling up a loop. Now we're going to chain one, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, and continue that until you have two loops left on your hook at which time I will meet back up with you and we will begin row five with color A. Okay, I'm down here at the end. I'm gonna pick up color A and we're gonna start row five. Row five is your last repeating row. So I'm gonna pull through those last two stitches and it is a Tunisian knit stitch all the way across. So you're just going to Tunisian knit stitch all the way, every stitch, ensuring that you're getting the top of those doubles and when you get to your slipped stitches, you are working your slipped stitches individually. And once we've reached the end, we will do a standard Tunisian back pass. So we'll just keep working this all the way to the end. When you've reached the end, you're gonna make sure that you're picking up both legs of that last stitch down here yarning over, pulling up a loop. So the Tunisian back pass, again, we're just yarning over and chaining one, then yarn over and go through two, yarn over, go through two, and continue until you have two loops left on your hook. At which time you will begin your repeating rows of rows two through five forward pass and back pass. 
of colors A and B. We'll take a look at this in just a second. Okay, so here we have using the latte and white as your main color and the latte as your accenting color. I'm gonna pull over the blue and the white one also so you can see using the blue and white once again. So here we have the blue and the white and then the latte stripe or latte cafe latte whichever it was and um the white all right everyone so that was a fun little you know challenge to see how it would work up using the tunisian knitted style stitch um i may keep going on this just a little bit more to give you a better picture for the thumbnail um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if it answered your question to the viewer who asked or anybody else who was wondering, I hope that it did. So be blessed, be a blessing, and until next time, bye for now.